Hello everyone. This hour on Verbling, the next in my pronunciation practice series. This is class number nine. We're going to look at a monologue from Mad Men, the actor John Hamm. What a great voice that guy has. Ooh, well, we're going to learn how to do that ourselves. So, in this class, we have a practical component to my pronunciation basics class, which we did yesterday. And each week, I'll give you tools you can use to perfect your skills, and we'll work on those tools using scenes from various films and television. So that way, you can always watch what we're going to do and have a model to practice from. Let's see how that works in just a moment. So that's a bit about my class. Here's a bit about me. My name's John Eric, your verbling teacher for this hour, and I'm an American teacher from New York, hanging out from Lisbon, Portugal, to bring you this class. And here are three quick rules to help you participate. Remember to turn off, tune in, and open up. That means turn off your microphone when you're not speaking so we can try to cut down on the background noise. Oh, let me get the right slide on here. There we go. And also, rule number two, remember to tune in to the new words you're going to learn. Use them as actively as you can throughout the class. The more active you use them, the more feedback I give you. That way, you'll learn. So, rule number three is open up to your classmates. Relax and have fun. We're all here to learn, and this is a safe, respectful place to practice your English. Oh, and by the way, if you want to stay in touch, you have all of my links in one place. If you click on or download the John Eric's Verbling Info PDF, which is under Class Material on the main page of the class in Verbling. On the left, you, it'll take you back to Verbling, where you can follow me and get notifications. On the right, read a tweet. You can chat with me on Facebook or Google Plus in the middle, watch one of my classes on my YouTube channel at the bottom, or even schedule a private class directly with me. So, that's a little bit about my classes. That's a bit... Uh, bleh. That's not what I wanted to say. I want to say that's a bit about me. And now I want to know a little bit about you. Ooh, let's get my camera working. There we go. So welcome returning champions, Mr. Anario and Mr. Giuseppe. How are you? Hi, John. Excellent. Everyone's awake and alive. And <laughs> and we have a new face. A new face, which is looks like Vittoria. Yes. <clears throat> Hi. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks, and you? <laughs> and you're from Spain? No. Oh, you're from Italy? Yes. Hey, 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 not bad, not bad. Um, okay, excellent, and who's, and who's in the picture with you? Is that you and a moose? Uh, no, it's uh, a sheep. Oh, you and a sheep. A sheep, <laughs> yes. Why is that? <laughs> Um, because and it it was a funny uh, funny picture because um, last year I was in uh, in Switzerland for mm -hmm. holidays and uh, all around the streets the streets there were these uh, big sheep uh, I don't remember the name uh, of uh, of the city where I was but uh, we was but you remember the sheep uh, yes I remember the sheep excellent <laughs> and actually I like it so much this one that I took a picture. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say you like him so much you took him home, <clears throat> and now he lives with you. Um, no. Not yet. No. Take a look at this link I just posted <clears throat> for you in the chat window. Can you see it? In the yes. verbling chat? Okay. Open that up, and when you do, it'll look like this on your screen. This is the top of the page. Yes. With the chattering teeth. <clears throat> because that's what we're going to be doing, a lot of chattering today. Okay, so that's our shared Google Doc for pronunciation practice. And this is how it works. If you scroll down the page, you've got my contact information there. Mm -hmm. There's some news. That news is a little out of date. I have to update it. But then you've got the table of contents, and you'll notice one, two, three, four parts. Well, the first part okay. is... Okay, yes, I can see them. Okay, the first part, by the way, open that on your computer if you don't have it open, because uh, I'm not going to be able to share my screen 
and see everyone. Um, so the first part is the tools. So far, we've learned six pronunciation tools, and everything that we, every text that we get, it's it's always text and audio. Um, we're going to apply these tools to help us understand how to improve our pronunciation. And we're going to work on tool number six today, because that's the one we didn't spend that much time with. And then the rest of it, you'll see there's an area for dialogues. We started to work on connected speech and dialogues. So below that, it says projects and monologues. Well, projects is something new. I'm going to start to give you homework to have you work independently. Monologues, we introduced each of those six tools in a different monologue. So we, we practice with the monologue and we learned a new tool. So you can always go back to the original class and, and rewatch the video if you want to understand better how to use the tool. So for today, let's go to tool number six. Uh, there we go. And there's not much there. It says the cut it out tool. So we're going to learn a little theory first. And then we're going to um, then we're going to apply it. And this time we're going to go back to a monologue because it's short and easy to work with. So um, what do I want to do here? Okay, tool number six says cut it out. We drop the T's. Well, there's actually more things that we drop than just the T's. In fact, I can give you a list right now. Give me just a second here. Um, we're going to look at T's. That's the main thing. But there's, there's a list of maybe four words, four endings that we tend to drop. And we also drop the, and here we go, the D's, the H's, the L's. So the D's, the H's, the L's, and the V's. So let's see how this works. And maybe I can give you a little bit of practice with these before we try to apply them. Uh, let me go back to let me go back to the T's for a second, and let's see if we can just make this a little bit more clear. Hold on a second here. Uh, okay. Yep. So for rule number one, let's do let's do an example. Let's call this examples. Uh, hang on just a second here. <laughs> All right, I think I want to deal with three basic rules. Yeah. All right, I think I'm just going to copy and paste these quickly. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a little bit easier than trying to write everything out. Give me just a second here. OK, so here are two examples on the next page. I have to go down to the next page. OK, take a look at page five. And uh, what do you think, Anario? Can you say the first example on the left for us? Uh, yes. <clears throat> mm, sorry. Oh, you don't have the document open? Yes, uh, I was almost left behind. I pras I practiced football with him. <clears throat> right, and I crossed out, I crossed out letters in both examples, uh -huh. because I want to show an example in 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 one sentence or two sentences here. I want to try to show an example of everything we're going to look at. So. Some consonant sounds are left out, if, especially if we're in a conversation, like a dialogue. OK, so I want you to say it again. But this time, I want you to deliberately not say the L in okay. almost, not say the T in left, mm -hmm. not say the ED in practiced, because alone it's practiced. Here, you're going to not say the ED and not say the H in him. So try okay. again. Okay. Uh, 
I was almost good left behind good I was almost left behind almost almost left behind that was good that was good and try the second one I <coughs> I practice I practice football with him within with him with him with him with him with him, with him. yeah I practice I practice also not everyone's going to say this exactly the same way. I would probably put in the, the T at the end because I would transfer it to football. I practiced, I practiced football, practiced football, to football. Yeah, I would probably, that's just me. I would probably move the T in practiced to football. But anyway, uh, the material I'm using is making a good point. So we drop certain letters. Um, when a word with a final consonant ending in T or a T sound is followed by another word beginning, beginning with a consonant sound the T is just left out okay so let's look at a few examples so now we're gonna look only at the T sound what do you think Giuseppe can you do the first two examples on the right Yeah. Last night is stopped briefing. Okay, do 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 all three on the top row then. So once again. The Last night he stopped breathing. He stopped breathing. So here, if you're gonna put in the stopped, it's gotta be the T's gotta transfer to breathing. He stopped breathing. So it's gotta be to breathing. <laughs> can you can you say to breathing? <laughs> to breathing. He stopped to breathing. If you're going to put it in, otherwise just take it out. He stopped breathing. Stop breathing. But together, stop breathing. He stopped breathing. Yeah, but you're adding one of those little Italian vowels because you're saying stop breathing, like it's a pizza, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So. You have to get rid of that extra vowel. Look, for our Italian friends, Ms. Vittoria and Mr. Giuseppe, Italian is, uh, there's a name for, I forgot, there's a name for this, but um, I forgot the name. Anyway, there's, um, there's stress-based languages like English where the stress of the word is the most important thing. Stress in Italian is la syllaba tonica. In English, or something like that, or accento tonico, or something like that. I don't know exactly how you say it in Italian. That's what I mean by stress. Italian is not that kind of a language, right? It has to do with it's a rhythmic language, so you have to add a vowel for it to sound correct. But you have to, <clears throat> you have to try to first just be aware that English has a different system. So that's really what I want to say. By the way, let's say hello to. Oh, I can never get. I can never say names right in Vietnamese. Is it? Ning, ning? Uh, uh, is, uh, say it for me. Win. Say it again. Win. 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 Okay. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. And you? I'm all right. Who's <clears throat> who's that a picture of? Uh, <laughs> did, did you saw him? Did you see him before? Oh, it's it's Al Pacino. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> It's in the it, Godfather. Yeah, yeah. It's young, <laughs> young Al Pacino. Okay. Yes. Before he went completely nuts and stopped <laughs> acting and started just going hua. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So, so, is it? Say your name very slowly. Is it Win or Nguyen or Nguyen? <laughs> because there's too many <laughs> letters in your name. Say it for me slowly. Um. It's like, uh, Just say it slowly. Win, 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 Yeah. Yeah. More or it's, less. Uh, it's like uh, two sounds combining yes. together. And win, win, win. Ah, oh wait. The second part is win. Yes. And the first part is win, 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 win. Ah, okay. I got yeah. it. Win. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've more or less got it. 
<laughs> since I don't know any Vietnamese, I'm not going to do that well with it. But okay, I got the I got the general idea, Nguyen. Or I can call you Dwayne. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, I don't want to call you Dwayne. I want to call you by your real name. Okay. So, do you have our shared Google Doc open, Nguyen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. So we're looking at page right now, page five. Okay. okay. All okay. right. So we're on page five. I'm not going to share my screen. Giuseppe said last night he stopped breathing. And the first, the next one, Giuseppe. It kept Giuseppe. Me. Giuseppe. Yes. Yes. Giuseppe. What happened to you, Giuseppe? Giuseppe, you're muted. Can you hear me? There we go. It cap still. Okay, but again, you're saying ita, uh, you. ita instead of it. It cap still. It kept still. It kept still. It kept still. Okay, good. It's better that time. One one last thing for our Italian friends. The L at the end of a word, in Italian, your tongue is farther back in your mouth because an Italian will say, um, it kept still, l, kind of a little bit too far back for English. Here, the sound of the T and the D, sorry, the T, D, and L are in the same position. So still, it's first of all, it's you don't even have to touch the roof of your mouth. Your tongue can just float. Still, it kept still. Try that, Giuseppe. It kept still. My tongue is here, and floating in the middle of my mouth. It kept still. Good, but you added an ita. <laughs> it kept still. <laughs> it kept still. Okay, but now you added the L back. So, the only way really to get this is, A, look in the mirror, see where your tongue is, and make sure it's in the right place. B, practice by listening and repeating. So, an MP3 of a native speaker is the best way to do it. Guess what? That's why we're taking scenes from films and television, because it's really easy to download those as an MP3 and put them in your MP3 player and practice along. So, the most important thing is that you're aware of what to do. That's the most important thing for today. Victoria, why don't you try the second row underneath where he was reading? Okay, he was left behind, just act normal. I collect coins. Okay, not, not bad. He was, he was left behind. He was left behind. I, I can't help it, I add a T, but that's just because, I don't know. It's something about the way I speak. But okay, if I take it out, he was left behind. Yeah, I can take it out. Okay. He was left behind. Not he was left behind. Duh. So be careful behind. that you're not Yeah, it's you you just have to make sure the air stops after behind. He was left behind. Try again. He was he was left behind. Good. Just act normal. Just act normal. <coughs> ac. Just ac normal. 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 Yeah, more, more, normal. Norm, normal. Okay, good. And again with the L. Just like Giuseppe, I can hear you're saying normal okay. with your tongue too far back in your mouth. In English, move it forward so it's touching here. Here? Huh? Mm? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's a little bump here, which everyone has directly between the teeth. And if you and it, your tongue should be in that position in your mouth, kind of forward, but you don't have to touch your tongue to your mouth. It can just float kind of here. So instead of going normal, it's mm -hmm. normal, normal, as if it's spelled with an AU instead of an AL or an AW. Right, M N O R M A U, normal, kind of like that. Don't exaggerate, but a little bit like that. So listen to me and repeat. Just act normal 
Just act, just act normal. 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 There's no le. Normal. 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 Just go. Just just take off the L. Norm. Say norma. Okay. Norma. Okay. Change the ma to a mo. Norma. Perfect. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Just act normal. It's there. You go. So if I guess if you change the a to a kind of like an o, that sounds good. That sounds like a native speaker. Just act normal. And okay. finally, I collect coins. Can you hear that again? I collect coins. Okay. Good. One thing. Not collect, but c collect. A collect. K, k. Collect. Instead of co, imagine there is no vowel. Imagine it's C L L E C. Imagine we take out the O. So it sounds like this. K lect. Collect. I collect coins. Good. A little faster. Collect. I collect coins. Okay, it's good. It's not bad at all. All right. So that's how we drop the T. We drop the T when a final consonant, like ends ending with a T sound, is followed by another consonant. All right. So we're like last and night. Well, there's two consonants, so you're going to drop the T there. However, we don't usually leave out the T before a vowel. So if I say, uh, for example, he. Here, these, these next group, we don't need to drop these because we don't drop before a vowel. A vowel is a e i o u, a a a e i o u. So, first of there, we don't need to drop it. It's not first of, first of, or you've. Uh, where is the vowel in you've? Hold on a second. Oh, you have, I guess they're trying to say. Uh, well, I guess I guess it's between before vowel or an H, an H sound. So you have, you've, she has, she's. Oh, no, okay, no, no, I see here. The last one, it's left-handed. Okay, so it's the H in handed. Left, not left-handed, like left-handed, but left-handed. So before the H, because we have to breathe out with the H. Um, okay, this is one is pretty important here. In the next group, and I apologize, this is going to be written in phonetics, so you might not know exactly how to read this. Hang on a second. The next group is on the next page. So take a look at page six. And on page six, hold on. I'm going to try to make a little note here. Here, we've got this ending, this ending like this. Um, SKT. Skt. This ending. Skt. When we have this, we leave out the K. Again, it's before a vowel. So before a vowel or the H. We leave out the K. I forgot to write that. Drop the K. And so Let's see if you can do this. Um, who's who's here with us? Okay. So, Nguyen, maybe I could ask you to read the examples on the right side. Okay. Uh, he on page six, right? Page six yes, at the yes. top. Yes. Okay. Uh, he risked his life. I don't know where you're reading. Oh, I said on the right. I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. You're yeah, right. You're yeah. right. I'm, I said the right. Yes, yes, not the left. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Yeah. So listen to me here. He risked. He risked his life. He, he risked 
risked his life. Yeah, risked his risked his life. It for for me, it depends on the word. I guess it, he risked he risked he risked his life. Risked his life. Here, I guess I don't say it exactly like it says risked risked his he risked his life. But you know what? I think it really depends because I don't I don't think I'd say it that way. For me, I would say he risked risked. But then again, my pronunciation is a little different than most people's. Risked. He risked his life. Risked. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 but <clears throat> this is the rule, but I can tell you that as a native speaker, I wouldn't say it here. But let's look mm. at the left. Let's look at the left side. Try it on the left side with Oliver. Mm, I asked. I asked Oliver. Mm -hmm. I asked Oliver. I asked Oliver. Right. So instead of saying asked, I asked Oliver. Right. I mm -hmm. asked Oliver. So most people drop the K. I don't know if I do or not. I I asked. I asked. Asked. I don't know what I do. I I can't think. I have to. I have to hear myself. I'm not sure. <laughs> I asked Oliver. Yes. Asked, axed. If you if you switch it, you say I axed. That's kind of like an urban accent. I axed. Maybe di dialect. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's yeah. kind of a dialect. Yeah. Uh, so, all I want to say about this is be aware of it. But I can tell you, as a native speaker, I don't think I really do this. With asked, yeah, for sure. I'll drop the K. But with other words, I don't think I would. I don't think I would say I risked his. He risked his life. I think I would say he risked. I think I would keep it in, personally. Now that I mention it. All right. So we've got. Let me see if there's anything else I want to say here. Uh, that's not important. I'm just looking through my list of important things, and that's not important. I don't think that's important either. Okay, I'll put in one last thing here. Fine. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's take a look. Finally, we've got this rule with T's as well. When a word ending with a T is followed by a word beginning with the Y sound, like yet, the T. And the y sound are pronounced like a ch. So I'm going to say uh, adding a ch sound. All right. So let's see how that sounds. Anario, what what do you think? Can you do those two examples for the ch? Yes. <clears throat> Has he left yet? I want to hear the F in left. L left yet. Left yeah. yet. <clears throat> okay. So I think there's a little more of a pause between the left and the chat. <clears throat> left chat. Yeah. That's it. Has he left yet? Left chat. Yeah. Don't ex don't exaggerate the ch too much. It's not it's not that strong. But that's it. That's it. Has he left yet? And what about the next one? Last year. Last. Last year. Last year. Last year. Last so re remember, this only happens when you're saying it fast when you're speaking. If you say the words slowly, they separate. Last year. Okay. But if you, but if you say it fast, last year. Last, last year. year. That's it. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> And I have to say, for me, it's more of a j than a ch. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not that strong when I do it. But as I said, my pronunciation's a little bit different than other people, for whatever reason. Um, okay, we're going to practice this all in just a second. But I think what I want to do is take a look at the other four consonants before I give you some practice. Okay, we leave out the d. In when we have what we call consonant clusters, that means that 
you've got more than one consonant together. So um, let's go down here and we'll call this drop it. Whoops, it's not where I want it. Let's call this dropping the dropping the D. Okay, with dropping the D, I'll give you three examples, and maybe Victoria, do you think you could do these three examples? An old car. An old I car, change. yeah. Good. An old car. I change clothes. Can you find Mark? Can you find Mark was perfect. I changed clothes. See, again, I'm telling you, my, my pronunciation is different because I would actually say changed. I changed clothes. I would put the j -d on clothes. Mm -hmm. j -d closed. <laughs> I changed clothes. I changed clothes. Yeah. Okay, but it sounds good. It sounds good. So the point is, when a, when a word with a final consonant cluster has a mm -hmm. D in it, like LD or JD, like GED, or ND, that's a consonant cluster. That means two or more consonants put together. We often drop the D sound. Okay? So just like you did. And the best one was can you find Mark? It sounded perfect. Change clothes only because my pronunciation I think is a little different than most people's. Because I would definitely say change to close, to close, but that's me. Um, and again, there's always this exception. If there's a vowel or an H, we don't necessarily leave it out. So I'll give you two more examples down here. You can see these below. So we don't usually leave out the D before a vowel or an H. Okay, so it's not handed over, but hand it over, right? So, Giuseppe, let's do those three examples there where we don't drop the, the D. First, let me, let, me, let me hear you repeat the ones that Vittoria did, and then I want to hear you say the next three where you don't drop the D, okay? Okay. An old car, Good. I change it, clothes. Nope. Can you find Mark? Go back to change clothes. I change it. There's no change it. Change it. Drop it. Drop it. I change clothes. I change clothes. clothes. That's it. Can you find Mark? Perfect. Try the three without dropping the D. That means leave the D in. You may have to transfer the D to the right. So instead of hand it, you may have to make a dit instead of an it. You may have to transfer the D from the left to the right. So to try it. The next three. Uh, okay. Hand it over. Hand it I over. Good. Apple pie. She seemed happy. Uh, the last one. Listen to me. She seemed happy. <laughs> happy. She seemed happy. Okay. She seemed. She seemed. She seemed happy. Good. She, That's it. She seemed happy. It's yeah. It's not dappy, but d happy happy she seemed happy so it's almost like a T now almost it's in between the T and the D by the way is it apple or is it apple is it apple uh, pie or apple pie uh, I used I used to say I used to pronounce it apple you used to and now you don't or you usually I you usually just, say I usually ah, say hi ah, people. You usually, but you're not going to say that anymore, right? Okay, that's me. <laughs> that's is wrong. Is wrong. Okay, it's wrong. So they serve. Pie. Right, they serve apple pie. They serve apple pie. They serve apple pie. That's it. That's it. And Anario, what about the bottom one? We don't usually leave out the D before the sounds L, W, R, and S. And we've got one example there. Yes. Uh, right above projects. Do you see that example? We yes. don't usually leave out the D before L, W, R, and S, and there's one example. 
Do you mind walking? I'm hearing a you instead of a you. Do you? Do you, do you mind walking? Yeah. So, do you mind walking? It's almost like walking. Walking. Do you mind walking? <laughs> do, do you do you mind walking? That's it. Okay. I don't know if this makes sense, but these are so basically if there's a vowel in H or or sometimes it's not that big of a deal, but sometimes um, will with words that begin with an L W R and S smooth smooth consonants like w and r and s and l these are kind of smooth consonants s is a little different okay it's not a smooth consonant but it's similar so we won't drop it then am i telling you to memorize this no don't memorize it just be aware that basically anything that's like a vowel and smooth consonants are a little bit like a vowel r Right? It sounds a little bit like it could be a vowel. All of those are when we don't drop it. Okay, So we drop it normally, but we have some exceptions. Don't memorize it. Just be aware of it, and don't worry about it too much. Okay, so I want to look at the H, the L, and the, the V. And then we're going to try a little practice here. Um, let me give you... Okay, so dropping the, let's put them all together, H, L, and V. I'm going to try to put them all together because we're going to run out of time if we don't. Okay, uh, so this one we've already done. It should be pretty easy. So let's go with um, Nguyen. Let's hear you drop the L's. These are these are the L's. Okay. Um, I, I'm I'm going to read all of them. Sorry. Say again. Uh, I'm going to read all of them. Uh, I'll do the do the first three, and then we'll give someone else a chance. Okay. Okay. Um. Almost. Good. O already. All right. All right. Good. It's like an all. Instead of an all, it's an all. Almost like an A, A W. And Victoria, can you do the next three on the right? So, all, also, although, 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 all, but is it with or without that? The because L is when you pronounce it, uh, it seems that there is an L. When I said it, all, all, like a a u. Oh, when you okay, can you pronounce again? Although. Let me say them all from the beginning. <clears throat> almost. That's like an O. Almost. Mm -hmm. Already. That's like an A a a u. Already. All right. Also. Not not also, but also, although, mm -hmm. always, always. So the first and the last sound almost like an O, almost always. It's really like an O sound. Okay. All the ones in the middle are an all, a U sound. Already, all right, also, although. So say the whole list okay, so from I the beginning, Victoria, from the beginning. Say the whole list. Almost. Good. Already, all right, or also, also, although, all. also, all, also. Yeah, because you want to make the L sound. I can hear you trying to make the L sound. <laughs> but yes. But don't don't give <laughs> yes. in. Don't because give it's in. It's difficult. <laughs> oh, also, although, always. Always. The last one is more like an O. Always. always. There you go. It's okay. It always. Sound, it sounds good. It sounds good. All right. Um, okay, this is our second to last pointer here. Uh, 
Um, we often leave out the H at the beginning of the pronouns, auxiliary verbs, and questions with the word, question words like who. Let me just read these quickly because I want us to have a little chance to work on the monologue too, so I want to speed this up a bit. So, I thought he was, instead of I thought he was. I thought he was. Or auxiliary verbs, students have left. We don't say students have, we say students have. So we put the VE at the end of students. And question words like, can you describe the person who did it? The person who did it. So we put them together, connect them. Person who. Can you describe the person who did it? And I have one more thing to show you with the D's and the V's. Uh, give me a second here. Okay, and the last one I'm going to put on the screen. I'm sorry, on the document is on page seven. Before consonant sounds, and is, is and. Oh my God, I can't read. Before consonant sounds, and is usually pronounced n. So, uh, and and of is uh. So red and blue. So there's no really d sound. Now and then. Now and then. And then bottle of water. It's almost like a V. Bottle of bottle of water. Waste of time. But anyway, it's a V or an uh. I I I I. For me, it's more of a V sound. Be, the vowel sounds before vowel sounds. And is usually pronounced. N or N, but of is pronounced of. So this is a should be a little bit stronger now. So pen and ink, pen and ink. Adam and Eve, and Eve, right? In bag of bag of apples. Here you can hear it very strongly. Vapples, bag of bag of apples, can of oil, bag of apples, can of oil. Okay. That's more theory than you could possibly need. All it really means is we cut out the T's at the end of words, and we sometimes drop the D's, H's, L's, and V's. That's all I'm really saying. Don't worry about the details too much, but you can always look at these examples to try to refresh your memory. Don't go crazy. It's not that important. What is important is that we practice a little bit, so I'm going to give you a short dialogue to practice with. Um, let's see. And I'm going to give you some instructions, too. I think I'm just going to have to copy and paste this. If I try to write it, it's going to take too long. Okay, so... Oops, we'll film it. No, it doesn't. Let me just make my dialogue a little smaller. I wanted to fit on the page before. Where is it? Oh, what happened to my dialogue? Oh, my dialogue is gone. Uh oh. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Great. Okay. So, now we're going to try to put. It, oh, disappeared again. Now we're going to try to put everything together. Cross out any letters representing the sounds that are missing. Write a question mark above any T sound that's replaced by a glottal stop. We didn't do that one. Don't worry about that. Note any other changes to the sound at the end of the highlighted words. Highlighted here means bold. Okay, don't worry about the glottal stop. But you can cross out letters. You can just print out this page. Print it out and try it on your own. Um, maybe what I'd like to do is just to have us do this as a dialogue and I can give you a few pointers but then you can go back and analyze it on your own. So, why don't we have um, what, what do you think? Let's have maybe um, uh, Giuseppe and Nguyen. Do you think you can do let's do the first one, A and B. Giuseppe, you're A. Have you got much work on just just now? Um, Go ahead. You win? 
uh, Dr. Thomas has given us a very hard essay, but I mustn't get a low mark this this time. Okay, listen to the <coughs> excuse me. Listen to to A again. Have you got Have you got much work Have you got much work on? So, this is a kind of a British way of saying it. Have you got much work on just now? Oh, that's very British. I would never say that, because we would say, "Do you have?" in American English, not "Have you got?" But okay, fine. Uh, have you got? Do you have? Have you got? Have you got much work on just now? That means, "Do you have a lot of work just now?" Uh, maybe I should have used a different example. Have you got a lot of work on just now? So the main thing is that in line A, you can see that that just has a crossed out T. Not just now, but just now. That's the main thing. And Nguyen, what about the has and the mustn't? Anything special we need to know about that? Um, Do we drop any letters in your um, in your line? No. No? Uh, listen, uh, listen to me. Dr. Thomas has given us a hard. Dr. Thomas has given us a hard essay. What did I drop in the in the in the in the, in the word has? Uh, Dr. Dr. Thomas has given us a hard essay. You drop the H. I dropped the H. Yeah. So it's Dr. Thomas's. Dr. Thomas has given us. Okay. So Dr. Thomas has given us. Very hard essay. Perfect. Listen to the second part. Um, but I mustn't get a little mark this time. I mustn't get. What am I dropping there? Um, but but I mustn't get a, a low mark this time. But I mustn't get a low mark this time. You drove the the end. I drop the N. The N. I must must get. If I drop the N, it would be. I drop the T. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mustn't mustn't get. I mustn't get. So repeat after me. Dr. Thomas has given us a very hard essay, but I mustn't get a low mark this time. Uh, Dr. Thomas has given us a very hard essay, but I mustn't get a hard uh, get a low mark this time. Very good. Get a low. Like it's one word. Get a low. Get a low. Get a low. Mustn't get a low. But I mustn't get a low mark this time. So can you say get a low? Uh, but I mustn't get a low mark this time. Good. The T on get becomes a D in American English. So not get a low, but get a, get a low. 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 Good. Get a low. Very good. All right. So I want you to switch roles. So Nguyen, I want you to do line A. I want to repeat, but this time I want you and Giuseppe to switch roles. You do A, and Giuseppe, you do B. Uh, for um, for the same dialogue. one. No, no, the same one. We're going to repeat, but switch roles. Okay. Uh, have you have you got my work on just now? Good, Giuseppe. Doctor. Thomas has given has uh, uh, given. Uh, uh, but, 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 but. You didn't drop the H. Yeah, as. No, but it's Thomas's. Thomas's. It sounds Dr. better. Thomas has given okay. us a very hard essay. Essay. But I, essay. But I mustn't, mustn't, mustn't get get a, get a get a low mark this time. Okay, good. Try it again a little more fluently this time. Listen to me. Dr. Thomas has given us a very hard essay. Repeat. Dr. Thomas has given us, give us, us, give us a very hard essay. But I mustn't get a low mark this time. But I mustn't get a low mark this time. But I mustn't get a low mark this time. Get a low. But I mustn't. But I mustn't. But I mustn't get a low mark, mark, mark this time. It's good. It's good. It sounds good. Very good. So let's do um, let's do Vittoria and Anario, 
and you're going to do the rest of it because there's not much left. Okay, mm -hmm. so Victoria, you do A, and 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 now you do B, please. I had an argu an argument with my tutor last week. Last week. Is it is it is it last week or last week? Do we drop it or we not drop the T? Um, I think we don't we drop the T. Sorry, I, did, the, I, I didn't I, understand. Do or don't? Um, I don't think we drop it because uh, the sound after the T is a vowel. Exactly, so. correct. It's not a vowel, but it's but like a but it's like, like a, a vowel. vowel. Exactly. Very good. So I had an argument with my tutor last week. So it's it's you can say last tweak. So tweak <coughs> instead of week. Tweak last tweak. Okay. I had, an, so argument. I had an, argument, an argument with my tutor last week. And an argument. Remember, it's again, it's twa. Uh, argument so twith. Twith tweak. and tweak. Twith and tweak. So argument twith. Yeah. Argument three. That's okay. it. Thank you. Well, try it one more time, and this time Inario is going to respond. So once again, Victoria. I had an argument tweet with my tutor last last <laughs> last week. Good, Inario. What happened? Uh oh, happened or happened? What happened? Yeah. So are you dropping anything here? Anario, are you dropping any letters? No. Should should we drop any letters? No. Okay. What? So what happened? What happened? For me, I think if you go back to the rule, let's just double check. Let me just double check. Maybe I don't want to tell you anything wrong. If we go back to the rule, um, maybe I need to write it more clearly. Hold on a second. Am I crazy or? Oh, I see. I think I put the sorry, I, I put the, the example in the wrong place. This is in the middle of our rules. Uh oh, I'll have to change it later. The rules are down below. Okay, I never mind. So dropping uh dropping Yeah, sorry, this is a, I put this in the wrong place, it's all mixed up. The T sound dropped last night, but we don't drop we don't drop before an H or a vowel sound, right? First dove. So we shouldn't drop. What? Ha what? But but we shouldn't drop. But I, listen to how I say it. What happened? Okay, that's what it is. I know. I know what it is, Anario. I know what it is. It's got to be. It's got to change to a D. That's what it is. So wh what? What happened? <laughs> what happened? What What happened? What, what, it's what it's happened? a it's almost like a it's almost like a dappen, but you have to make it a little softer. That's what it is, because again, it's just American English. T's become D's. Happened. What happened? What happened? What, what, hap what happened? Yeah, that was good. That was good. <clears throat> okay, Victoria. Well, I couldn't find my coursework, so I asked for a couple of days extra. She got asked. really annoyed. Asked. 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 You know, um, like, so it's yeah, almost like I know it's it's, uh, I know it's without the, the ed at the end. No, no, no. Here, 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 here. To make it easier, you're dropping the k. To make it easier, okay, you drop so the k. Asked. asked. So asked. Yeah. So I asked for a couple, couple of days extra. She couple, got of, really, couple of. Couple of. Couple of days. Not extra. of, but of. Couple of. of. Couple of. 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 Like of, like ooh 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 couple of <laughs> couple of keep going days extra couple of couple of days extra she got really annoyed with uh, me and uh, complained I always complained, uh, complained. I was all, all, always late for Good. lessons. Good. I could hear you. I could hear you change it from always to always. Always good. Late. Good. Always late for lectures. Anyway, I told her, uh, told uh, her course was a waste of ta of time. 
And are you? Did you? <coughs> did you? Did, did you? Did, did you? Did you? Good. Well, at least, doctor, at least, at least, Doctor Thomas doesn't shout at us. Although I Al know, although although I'm not very confident that I pass him, I pass him, I pass him exam. Wait, wait, wait. I'll pass. I'll pass his. I'll I'll pass his exam. Okay. What about the H in his? Do we need that? No, no. No. Need, no. I'll pass. <laughs> I'll pass his. That the, the problem is I I say this very slowly and right. I, I can't join. That I pass his ex. I'll pass his exam. Good. Listen to me on the last line. Although, all though. Although. Good. I'm not. It's it's kind of dropping the T, I guess. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I know very very confident. Yeah, that I'll pass ex passes exam passes passes. I'll pass is I'll I'll passes exam. I'll pass. I'll pass his exam. Yeah, passes exam passes exam. Passes exam. Okay, it's good. It's not bad. Okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to try a project. So. Um, the projects are down below on page seven. The project is you're going to, uh, I would suggest, print out the page and you've got all the lines in that little monologue from one to ten. I would suggest printing it out so you can write directly on the page um, or you could just make a copy to Google Docs and I don't know, maybe it's easier if you just write it by hand. But you're going to cross out the letters that are dropped and make any other marks using the other six tools, the other five tools that we've learned. And you're going to do that by listening or watching and listening to the clip that I posted. So normally we watch the clip in class and I work through it with you, but now we've done enough of these that you can do it on your own. So watch the clip, uh, mark up the text using not just tool number six, but you can use all the tools to help you. Uh, mark the text itself. I think it's easier. And you're going to do that by listening for, for these little details and then practice. And then in the next class, if you want to show me your markup by scanning the page or however you want to show it to me or just put it in front of the camera, that's great. But the main thing is to hear how it sounds. So you can basically, with that clip, by the way, you can download that as an MP3. Download it from YouTube go to any YouTube to MP3 website. There's a million of them. Convert it to an MP3, and that way you can listen, stop, and repeat as much as you like. And I suggest using a free software called Audacity, um, uh, which you just Google for Audacity. You can download it. It's easy to use. It looks complicated, but it's not. It's actually very easy because you only have to use like two or three buttons. The rest of it you can ignore. So that using Audacity lets you manipulate the sound clip a little bit easier. So you can change the speed, make it slower, faster, edit it, cut things out if you want. Okay? Or if you don't want to mess with all that, just you know, just open the YouTube clip and just pause it. Repeat, pause, repeat, pause. Okay? So just to summarize, you're gonna go to projects, class nine. Mad Men John Ham on at seven. Watch or download that clip. Mark up the text according to how it sounds, right? Especially using tool number six, our cut it out tool. What was it called? Tool number six was called Yeah, cut it out. So especially using that, but you can also use any of the other five rules that will help you. Okay? Once you mark it up, I want you to listen read your marked up text and and that way you'll practice listen read and speak and then by the next class it should sound pretty good okay i'll look at your marked up text i'll listen to it and that's how we can move forward in this class between classes take whatever we learned and apply it that's the plan okay everyone i've got a class right now so i've got to stop okay if you want to reach me for any reason 
and I have no idea why you would want to do that. But if you do, you can reach me at any of these links in the chat window. Okay? And I'll be happy to help. So, that's it for now. Next week at the same time, we'll have the follow-up to this class. And right now, I am nine minutes late for my business class. So, come back in one minute and 30 seconds if you want to learn some business. Okay? Okay. Thank bye, you. bye for Thank now, you. everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.